I'm over here fucking up my studio, y'all. Forgive me, forgive me. Technical difficulties and shit. But what's going on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Little Women Atlanta Season 4, Episode 3, called Big Little News. Before we get started, question of the day. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? To answer that question, I'm actually going over to a uh, co-worker's house. Uh, he and his family invited me over for Thanksgiving. They were so uh, very, very warm and welcoming. So uh, to kind of like repay the favor, I'm actually going to <clears throat> cook for them. So I'm still waiting for uh, him to let me know what his wife wants me to do, whether it's going to be like finger, to fi la 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 la, finger type foods or if it's actually going to be um, just like, um, uh, like dinner. So we'll see. We'll see. And the only thing is I, I asked them to have the glue vine. So they so they said yes to the glue vine. So I'm bringing my ass on and then I'm cook for their asses. And cook for myself too. So you know. And like I said, they're actually getting ready to leave. They're going to where I just came from, North Carolina. So this is actually a good send off because they'll pretty much be gone early February. And I'll be in the woods playing around. So yeah. <clears throat> so that's that. Time to jump into this review. I went ahead and got me a little bit of sipping, you know, something to get me through. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, yeah that's good. All right, so it's <clears throat> some of this. I'm actually just going to kind of like rush through before I even get started. Let me say, let me say, who all got? <clears throat> I'm not gonna sit here and do the whole money shit with her child. I ain't finna do all that. I'm gonna talk about it today. And unless there are any more developments, I ain't talking about this shit no more. And I'm about this close with fucking, is it Andrea? Andrea. This close. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm probably going to get through this whole damn bottle by the time I'm done with this shit. Alright. <clears throat> Many goes to get a tattoo. The twins are with her. Um, let me see. <clears throat> Amanda said that she would get a tattoo. Because Andrea was fighting to say no because she's pregnant, so she doesn't need to go through that. Which, there to me, they were making it a bigger deal than what it is. All they had to do was just say, I don't want to get a tattoo. It's that fucking simple. Again, making, you know, a mountain out of a molehill, but not, right, neither here nor there. <clears throat> Andrea says to her sister, Well, they go outside to get some tacos. She, you know, Andrea wanted a greasy one. And she says to her sister that she's going to tell everybody, so her parents and everybody, about her being pregnant at Aubrey, who was her uh, daughter's birthday party. We got Juicy. She meets with a friend. His name is Johnny. He wants to do a partnership um, for a management company where they're going to manage not just, you know, rappers and singers, but, you know, uh, comedians just pretty much just a general management company and she is on the fence because it's already difficult for her to manage herself <clears throat> with everything that she has going on and now this is something totally different which i'm actually happy to see that she actually is going to have somewhat of a storyline but i it seems like she is but I, I highly doubt that she fucking is and the only thing that i was iffy about is that Regardless if this is a friend or not, for somebody to sit here and want you to partner up, put your name and everything on shit, I want to know why the fuck we ain't see no business plan. Like, he ain't have shit laid the fuck out. So, either <clears throat> this was a real pitch or this was just for the show. Not saying that she won't do it, but this was for her to have a storyline on the show. <clears throat> the Sage Lady and Moni, they out getting baby shit. Moni shares her uh, birthing experience, you know, how she almost lost her life trying to give birth to her child because she, you know, she wanted to do it naturally, but she couldn't the whole nine yards. And I'm not trying to be insistent, it's just she shared that story. And you'll see why I'm kind of brushing her shit off a little bit. That's about it. Uh, let me see. Moni, Juicy, and Sam, they all meet up. So Juicy brings up the whole management thing. And she says that what she's probably going to do <clears throat> is leak Avera up with Johnny. And if y'all don't remember Avera, she was the one that got into it with the tiny twins. And I mean got it got into it with their asses. And her uh, she pretty much says that, uh, you know, they have become good friends as of late <clears throat> and also mentioned that, you know, she raps and she got bars. Okay, she got bars. 
And the girls ask, how is that going to be knowing that you have the twins as friends? More or less alluding to the fact that you know that they do entertainment type things. So how is it going to be knowing that you have friends, but you're offering the opportunity to someone else? Which I don't see why Juicy, you know, was kind of like, eh, because it's simple. She already has fucking management. And, you know, like I said, what we got as a friendship, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, cross lines and shit. Fuck that. A various business. It's right here. It's this. If they don't fucking like it, well, guess what? I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, bottom line, people. Bottom line. And my question is, are they truly friends or are they friends on the show? But we'll move on. We'll move on. <clears throat> so Amanda and Chris, is it is it Chris? Jordan, her husband, her boyfriend is Jordan. My bad. The parents are coming to stay with them because, of course, Chris does not like. To, that's why I wrote Chris. That Chris doesn't like the parents and whatnot. So the parents get there, and um. What is his, is his name Andre? He is so fucking adorable. And he is asking for Mama Drea. And it's so funny that he calls her Mama Drea because it truly, as like I said, she's not there. And <clears throat> you know what? Let me get let me get this shit out of the way right quick. Look, I'm um I'm pretty much done with Andrea's shit too. <clears throat> because what I'm not understanding is your son is in Texas, all right, being raised by your mother. The fact that he calls her Mama Drea further lets me know that he calls his grandmother Mama. I have a problem with that. And then you just had a baby, so you're raising one. <clears throat> And you're about to have another, but your firstborn is fucking in Texas. And you're in Atlanta. Why? Okay, I got an opportunity, but where the fuck is your child? And I understand why his child's with his parents, because what he has going on medically, better to keep him there. But why the fuck aren't you with your damn child? And it's not, <clears throat> and it's not like she said that she's here trying to hustle work to provide a better living. I ain't heard that shit. You know, I can give it up to, you know, entertainers and whatnot because they got to travel and do all this other stuff to make sure they have a for their children. That's one fucking thing. This is a completely, totally different type of fucking thing. And I'm pretty sure she can get her ass. I'm pretty sure there is a uh, Little Women Dallas. You can have your ass on that. Like, come on, man. Or <clears throat> she can split her time. Get two checks. Do Dallas and spend that time with your damn son. Then bring your ass the fuck back to Atlanta. But I fucking digress. And all these damn tears and shit, I don't give a fuck if it's hormones. I'm about done and through with that. Just to be clear. That's the first one. I'm going to get to money momentarily. I'm, I'm going to get to that ass momentarily. In to wait. Drea pops up. The mom asks, you know, about her living arrangements. And she's asking, okay, well, why haven't we been there, you know? Is it because of Chris? And she's trying to give the excuse, okay, well, we're still unpacking this and the third. And she has a breakdown, which I'm sitting there at first. just like, why the fuck are you crying when she asked, is it about Chris? But then I forgot she's pregnant. Hormones. That's the answer. But of course, you know, the parents feel so kind of what. And you know what? I just remember something. I did not finish watching the fucking episode. So I'm going to get through this. Pause it. <laughs> finish watching it. Because I had to stop and do something else. Don't, don't judge me. Don't fucking judge me. Damn it. <clears throat> All right. So, all right, so Moni and D2. Now, she calls her son. Here's another motherfucker that I'm getting tired of. Her son is also in Texas. I forget the reason that she came to Atlanta, but let's be clear. I ain't seen her do shit salon wise because she was doing that shit with Moni. I believe, not Moni, many. I believe that was the first season. Maybe second. But probably the first. She was doing voiceover. It was either the first or the second. I ain't seen her. I ain't seen her do shit. I ain't seen her do not shit but chase a chase after nothing as motherfucker. And now she's sitting here crying about her son where your son is in fucking Texas. Why the fuck are you not with your son? 
And the fact that she wants to sit here and go back and forth with the daddy, look, if he don't want the child to move to fucking Atlanta, if you really care that much about your motherfucking son, if you really want to be there for your motherfucking son, how about you take your ass back the fuck to Texas? Live in close proximity to your son, and that way split custody will be so much easier because the son told her, I don't want to leave my friends, I don't want to leave my cousins. And she thinks the daddy got put up to that. But you don't want to say ownership for the shit that you do. For the fuck shit that you do. Oh, like, and, and, and here's the thing. We go in on these ain't nothing ass motherfuckers. Like I ain't gave it to Moreland ass yet. I'm pretty sure. If you don't fuck up this season, the rest of the season. I'm going to give his ass a fucking pass. If some more shit come out. I'm going to get him. Chris. We give, it, we give it to Chris every motherfucking time. Because he. He ain't shit. <laughs> he ain't shit. But. Y'all let me know <laughs> how the fuck y'all feel about Andrea and fucking Moni and their kids being in a completely different fucking state than them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being insensitive. Maybe. You let me know. All right. What else? So, Moreland. So, now we have Moreland and Moni. She pulled herself a drink. Because she had, because she, she needed this to, you know, talk to her baby dad. Long story short, he told her, look, it is what the fuck it is. But he's willing to let his son come up there and be with her for the, um, the summer. Now, my thing is, is with all this arguing back and forth, granted, you want to do what's in the best interest of the child. But my question is, why is it that... You know, he has sole custody and not her. That, like, unless that was tackled and I didn't fucking catch it, inquiring minds, well, I really, actually, I really don't give a fuck, to be completely honest, because I mean, I'm, I'm tired of her and these, and, and, and these motherfucking, I'm tired. I'm, I'm motherfucking tired. Because if you care that much, you would take action. You would fucking do something. Again, you can do what I said Andrea can do. Get two fucking checks, be on Dallas and fucking Atlanta, split your time, but be with your damn son that fucking simple and i'm pretty sure she gets paid a nice little penny shit but again i'm trying to figure out outside of the little women of atlanta what the fuck does moni do y'all let me know because i don't know johnny and juicy meet up she tells him that she wants in she tells him that she wants him to meet with a vera she played a little snippet of her rapping i wasn't all that impressed but whatever but she just wanted him to hear her because i guess he wanted him she, she wanted him to base his opinion off her skills rather than off of seeing that she's a little person. He brings up the twins. She says, well, they're kind of in limbo right now with their management. And he's like, even more reason to go ahead and, you know, make contact with them. Her only thing is she's curious about both entities because both entities don't like each other. And here's the thing. If, first of all, if it's bottom line, if you, if you grown... And you can't sit here and work with a motherfucker that you don't like or be in the same vicinity. For that bottom line, there's a fucking problem. And then at the same exact time, as long as y'all don't double book or y'all make sure there's enough time where they don't have to pass each other, you will be fucking fine. And if one of them came not professional one entity, then get fucking rid of their asses. Go with the biggest star. And then we got Andrea's baby party. An under the sea thing. And that's exactly where I started when they brought the baby in. That's Andrea Aubrey's. If I, Aubrey. And her coming in, a nice little, you know, mermaid, uh, like, knitted tail and everything. And I'll be right back. All right, so go ahead and finish this shit out. So Andrea tells everybody, hey, we expect another baby. I'm not going to lie. I laughed. I hollered. Okay. Because I, I don't remember exactly what was said, but I think it was more than talking about some, you know, glory be to God. And, you know, God said be fruitful and multiply. I'm sitting here like, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. This shit was funny. I hollered. I fucking hollered. Um, so, Andrea sees that her, fam that her parents were not very receptive to the news. Now, I'm going to say this. I think she was out of order. This is your daughter's birthday party. And this is a day and a time to be joyful and all this other stuff. She goes and engages her parents. I'm sorry. Wouldn't have done that. Because at this point, this day went from being about your daughter to being about you. Just saying. Just saying. 
but her uh let me see her, her mom pretty much just like i don't yeah her mom is like i don't know if i should be happy for you or be sad the dad his old thing is just like you know you gotta understand like you just not had Ari. she is one years old and she's one and you're pregnant again so they said that the baby's so pretty much the baby's gonna be like a year and nine months roughly apart damn near two years so it's one of those where it's just like <clears throat> you're going to get be, get to a point where you can't do anything and you're going to have a baby that is still going to need your attention stress and all this other stuff andrea whole thing is i just wish they would see that chris is doing better now look <clears throat> everybody this ain't just for the latest that because that, again that's most of my fan but everybody need y'all to listen listen If I ain't learned not nothing in my 31 years of living, you do not tell your family and your friends about whatever's going on in your relationship because <clears throat> you sit here and tell them all the bad shit. I, here's the thing. First of all, I don't tell my family shit. I don't tell my friends shit. <laughs> don't, like, if I'm in a relationship, don't nobody fucking know because I want to make sure that if y'all see the person, I want y'all to know this shit is for real. That me and like we're going to the very Okay. <laughs> I think I said on more in the video. My uh, stepfather, he seen one of my girlfriends. Well, she wasn't really a girlfriend. More it's just like somebody I was courting. The only and the only reason he saw her is because to get to my room I had to pass his. And he happened to be up. Other than that, nobody knows about my relationships. No, I like to keep it that way. But even if I were to tell, I would only talk about the good shit. Because if you tell somebody the bad things, of course, that person going to have their preconceived notions. Think the motherfucker ain't shit, even if they is ain't. And even if you get back together or things start to work out, there's always going to be that issue because they're going to think about, mm, so-and-so told me this. So, and not to mention, she does have a sister. So even if she ain't running back telling that, her sister's running back telling that. Just saying, as I guarantee you, if Amanda's having problems with uh, Jordan, I can I can damn near bet my bottom dollar. Andrea don't know about it. But it is what it is. The mom says we're here for you. And that was it. That was the episode. It seemed like next week fit to get good. Cora comes back. We get to see Cora. Okay. I can't wait to see Cora. Well, actually, this is, you know, great value brand Cora. But we're going to see Cora. <laughs> We go see fucking um, Minnie trying to do a 5K. She probably should have tried a 2K, but I ain't trying to be shady. I'm just saying. And what people feel to realize is you don't necessarily have to run a 5K or 2K. You can actually walk it. Just saying. Uh, what else we got going on? We're going to have a bit of Vera. We're going to see her next week. The twins, you know, talking to management and shit. So she'll be good. At least I hope. So <clears throat> again, they, I think this is. Yeah, this is the last fucking review of this year, is it not? Because there's anything home on Friday? No. So, if if the house hoes come on on, Mon on Sunday, which they probably won't, but if they do, y'all will probably get that video. What? Yay, here I'm a ghost. Y'all will probably get that video probably Tuesday. <laughs> like, early Tuesday, maybe, possibly. But you'll definitely get Love and Hip Hop, uh, New York and Miami. I will do my best to get those out, sim like, not necessarily simultaneously, but right after another. As long as everything goes great on this end. Because like I said, I mean, if for North Carolina, I'm six hours ahead. And I normally don't get access to, you know, the um, shows at least maybe like one to two hours after they've already aired. So, and I got to wake up early for that. But that's it. That's all I got. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Happy New Year. <laughs>